Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's got the internet buzzing. Mac OS Teho, Apple's latest greatest operating system, packed with incredible new features. But there is the catch for many of us. Is your Mac going to get it? Mac OS Teho or Mac OS 26, as it's officially known. Is there with a gorgeous new liquid glass design? A completely revamped small light storage with incredible quick actions. The phone are finally on your Mac and so much more. It's a fantastic update that promises to make your Mac experience even more fluid and intelligent. But here is the reality check. Apple, as they often do, has decided to drop support for a number of Intel Macs with Mac OS Teho. This wasn't entirely expected, especially with the ongoing transition to Apple Silicon. In fact, Teho is confirmed to be a final Mac OS release to support Intel Macs at all. That's a huge deal. So if you have an older Intel Mac, you might be feeling a bit left out in the cold. But beyond, because that's where the incredible community project Open Core Legacy Patcher or OCPL comes into play. OCPL is a fundamental tool that allows you to install newer versions of Mac OS, including the latest betas, on Macs that Apple officially dims and supported. It essentially tricks your Mac into thinking it's a newer supported model, and then applies the necessary patches to make everything work as smoothly as possible. Now let's talk about the supported and unsupported Macs for Mac OS Teho, both officially and with OCPL. Officially, Apple's list for Mac OS Teho includes MacBook Air M1 2020 and later, MacBook Pro 13 inch 2020 for Thunderbolt Port 3 ports and later, MacBook Pro 16 inch 2019 and later, iMac 2020 and later, Mac Mini M1 2020 and later, Mac Studio 2022 and later, Mac Pro 2019 and later. Now is a pattern here? Mostly Apple Silicon, with a very select few Intel Macs. This means a lot of perfect capable Intel machines are now left behind, including some that only just lost support with Teho. We're talking models like 2017 iMac Pro, 2018 Mac Mini, 2018 MacBook Pro, and even some 2019 and 2020 Intel MacBooks. This is where OCPL shines for unsupported crowd. The open core legacy patch of Tim Brooks tirelessly to bring macOS to the machines that Apple has abandoned. While they are still working on full capability for all other models with Teho, early reports and community testing are showing promising results for a wide range of older Intel Macs. Commonly supported are said to be supported with OCPL. Older Macs for Teho open includes many MacBook Pro models mid-2012, late 2013, mid-2014, mid-2015, and even some 2016, 2017 models that lost native support. Various Mac models, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015 models. MacBook Air models, mid-2012, mid-2013, early 2015, 2017. Mac Mini models, late 2012, late 2014. It's important to remember that compatibility and performance can be vary, widely depending on your specific Mac model and its hardware, especially the graphics card. For some very old Macs, like those with non-metal GPUs, you might experience graphical glitches or reduced performance in certain cases. Also features tied to newer hardware, like certain Apple Silicon specific functionalities or T2 chip features on some Intel Macs, might not work perfectly or at all. The OCPL team is always transparent about known issues, so always check their documentation. So if you're thinking about reinstalling Mac OS Teho on your unsupported Mac using OCPL, here are a few crucial things to keep in mind. Do research. Open Core Legacy Patcher team has excellent detailed guides on their website and read them thoroughly before you start. Backup. This is beta software and you are installing on it unsupported hardware. Things can be wrong. Make a full time machine backup or even better, a bootable clone before you do anything. Expect imperfections. While OCPL is amazing, it's not a magic wand. There might be minor bugs, performance quirks, or features that don't work exactly as they would on a natively supported Mac. Community support. The OCPL community is fantastic. If you run into issues, there are forums and Discord channels where you can find help. This is the end of the road for Intel Macs. Remember, Tau is likely the last Mac OS version with any Intel support. This means that while OCPL can extend the life of your current Intel Mac with Teho, future Mac OS versions Mac OS 27 and beyond are expected to be Apple Silicon only. Open Core Legacy Patcher is an incredible testament to the power of community and open source development. It breathes a new life into the older hardware, keeping you west out of the landfills and saving users money. While Apple is clearly moving towards an all Apple Silicon future, OCPL offers a fantastic bridge of those who have us clinging to our beloved Intel Macs. Have you tried OCPL with Mac OS Teho Beta? Let me know your experience in the comments below. What Mac you're running it on? If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider to subscribe for more tech insights. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.